Hey guys, John here from John's DIY Playground. Today I'm going to show you on my Ford F-150 SYNC 3 screen how to change the splash screen so that it goes from this to this. Let's get started. To change our truck's configuration we just need a few things. I've got a laptop here, it's kind of an old laptop with windows on it and it also has the Forescan software which you can download for free. I'll include a link in the text below. Um, this desk, uh, laptop doesn't have uh, Bluetooth, so this is a Bluetooth dongle um, that I'm using. So I have Bluetooth that talks Bluetooth to this. This is the OBD Link MX. Um, it's pretty widely available. It's on Amazon. I'll also provide a link, but this one plugs into your OBD port and will talk wirelessly over Bluetooth to the laptop system. All right, so here we are with the Forescan tool, giving us the friendly warning, don't drive with the Forescan tool. And we need to first connect with our OBD over the Bluetooth. So you hit that button there. Make sure the key's in the ignition on position. Engine's not running. Hit OK. It'll start looking for it. And it finds it pretty quickly. Hit yes. <clears throat> it's gonna look for all the other modules that are in the, in the vehicle. Um, just takes a minute here. And then once it's done with that, it says ready at the bottom. Um, we're going to go over here, and <clears throat> this is pretty simple. We just need to find the APIM module. So we're looking for APIM and the as-built format is important. Hit the plus, or I'm sorry, the play for run service procedure. It's actually going to give you another warning. It's going to load the blocks here. Hit OK. And what we're looking for is the 7DO0201 which is right over here, whoops, sorry, up here. Don't get these wrong. Um, so we need to change in the middle block the second digit from a one to a five. And then everything else stays the same. If you hit the right, that writes the block. Gives you a warning about checksum, hit yes. It'll write that block. And that's it. So my radio dash went dark and I hit okay. And then what we do to have it take on the change is to cycle the key ignition. Uh, sometimes it'll start working by itself, but uh, let me have a look at what uh, what happened here. All right, took the key out of the ignition, guys. So let's key back up and see what we got. Turn to on, but not start the vehicle. Should get the splash screen for the Raptor. And lo and behold, we got it. So I hope you learned something from this and enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. And also hit the subscribe button so you're notified about other videos that come out when I make them. This is John from John's DIY Playground. Have a great day.